Hey everybody, I'm bringing you a quick, quick video on the hip bone. Let's go. All right, here is the hip bone, but the hip bone is actually part of the pelvis. So the hip bone is one half of the pelvis. Looks like this on the skeleton or just like this, if we're looking at the pelvic girdle, right? The pelvic girdle would be a right hip and a left hip, plus the sacrum and the coccyx to make this bowl-like structure here. But we're just focused on the hip today. So I'm bringing it in. This is a, a right hip. And what you'll notice are a couple things. You'll notice that it's not exactly straightforward, right? If we look at another bone, we might be able to see the front, see the back. The hip bone is actually a tough one to see the anterior and posterior. So here's what I want you to look at to see what's anterior, what's posterior, and what's lateral as well. First off, it's a, if it's pointy, it's anterior. Pointy or a sharp corner. So for example, this one right here, this is called the pubic tubercle this pointed bony part in the front, and that is definitely anterior. That comes together and forms something called the pubic symphysis, this cartilage in between, this joint here. The other thing up here, see this? This is called the anterior superior iliac spine. Anterior superior iliac spine. I'll line them up. These are pointy as well, very pointy parts and that's also anterior now my thumb is in something called the acetabellum so this rounded area here is the acetabellum and actually i have to tell you guys the truth the hip bone is actually three different bones i'm sorry i lied to you guys we do call all three of these bones the hip bone but there's three individual bones here so up here is called the ilium. The ilium is this large part, and it would be what we refer to as the top part of the iliac crest of the hips. You can feel this on your own pelvis. The other parts, well, if you're sitting, you're probably sitting on the ischium bone. This is the ischium part right here, which makes this the pubis up front the pubis up front, and it's like a peace sign in the middle, dividing these in the middle of the acetabellum. So make sure you're looking at all three bones as you look at the hip bone. Keeping it going, okay, I said the acetabellum, this was lateral, so we can definitely look up here and see that lateral part. To finish it off posteriorly, are the rounded parts. See how this is much more rounded than the front? This is called the posterior superior iliac spine. And you can see it's a little bit pointed, but the whole structure is more rounded. There's a great shot of it. This entire part right here is the PSIS and it's much more rounded than this pointed ASIS. So that is rounded. Plus, there's something called the ischial tuberosity. This rounded part, which would be this part down in here, is your sit bone. What do I mean by sit bone? Well, if you're sitting right now, you are sitting on the ischial tuberosity. This is the part that contacts the ground, the ischial tuberosity. That's part of the ischium bone. Let me point out the other bony landmarks that you can see on here. And it's a tough one to balance, so maybe get some tape or something to hold it up like this. I mentioned the ASIS as this bony landmark, but there's one more inferior, and this is called the AIIS. AIIS, anterior inferior iliac spine. Now, the ASIS. If you follow it along, this is called the iliac crust, the crust of it, and you can see it crusting over here. That's the iliac crust. That leads into your PSIS in the back. 
Oh, but guess what? You also have, by flipping on over to the other side, a PIIS. This is posterior inferior. There it is. Posterior inferior iliac spine right here. The PSIS was up here. And as you travel down, there's another bump. This is a special one called the ischial spine. Ischial spine right here, leading into the ischial tuberosity. Now I gotta mention this hole right here. There's a foramen formed by these bones. It would be the ischium bone and the pubis bone here. Forms what's called the obturator foramen. Obturator foramen. Later you'll learn, if you keep watching my videos, and hopefully you're watching all of them, liking it, and subscribing to this channel, I'll teach you guys about the obturator nerve that travels through this foramen. And there's one on either side of it right here. All right, this has been your video on the hip bone, which we found out was actually three different bones together. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you learned the bones and the bony landmarks. So take some time to send me a comment. If you have any more questions about the hip bones or want another video, request it in the comments below. But that's all I've got for this video. I'm Professor Klein in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.